Hey, this is Christian. Today I want to talk about my story as a self-taught developer. I think I've mentioned it in a few uh, other videos, but uh, I have never done it by myself. So I was thinking, hey, maybe I can share this with you. Maybe I can inspire you and show you from where I started and uh, what it took to get to where I am right now, where I'm 100% remote, uh, where I have pretty much time freedom as long as I'm doing my tasks and uh, I make pretty good money as well. So I wanted to share with you exactly kind of what my journey was, the mistakes that I've made and what I've learned in this four or five years, I don't even know. So how I started, I was uh, working in a coffee shop and I knew about web development. I, one of my friends from high school had a boyfriend and that guy was making a lot of money with web dev. And for me, it was like, hmm, how can, he, if that guy can do it, uh, how can I do it myself? I remember he lived in this amazing flat with two floors and in the middle of the city and, and he was 18 or something like that. So he was making a lot of money. And uh, that, that idea stayed in the back of my mind for a while and then uh, while I was working in a coffee shop in London, I went into this Barnes and Nobles uh, bookshop and I think I bought a book called JavaScript and jQuery for beginners by John Duckett or something like that. I don't remember something like that. So I bought that book um, thinking that I'm gonna learn something from it. I had gotten some ideas from it but it wasn't enough so what I did, I bought a Linda course, the, a Linda subscription that had some uh, an intro about programming. So I had to figure out a bunch of things on my own. Uh, then I went on on free code camp, YouTube, obviously, reading medium blog posts, like all these things, right? I was I was trying different things, but I just couldn't get a grasp on JavaScript. I was very good with HTML and CSS. I was really good, actually and uh, i was uh, telling to myself okay javascript is too difficult so i'm gonna keep doing html and css so i've done that for like six months and i was getting better and better at it but i knew that if i want to become a paid developer i have to learn javascript and i thought i have to know react angular Vue, node.js graphql all these technologies but it wasn't true you know I was confused I, I there was a lot of information online um, and I remember when I was working in the coffee shop we had this iPad mini next to the till and then where there was some dead time I was reading more uh, about JavaScript I was reading some a book called eloquent JavaScript if I remember correctly I was reading the MDN dogs I was, I was constantly uh, trying to fill my time with programming, you know, I was kind of obsessed with it. And I remember I was telling to myself, I would do this even if I would never get paid, you know, and that for me, it's a good sign that what I'm doing, it's uh, actually gonna work. But still, I had a lot of trouble staying on track due to the fact that I had no idea what I was doing. <clears throat> and my motivation was sometimes low I wanted to quit loads of times but uh, I had no option I had to make this thing happen uh, and one day one one um, one customer uh, John saw me uh, reading about web dev and then he told me that he's a web developer himself he's a freelancer he was working from home he was basically doing the things that I wanted to do and uh, I figured if I give him free coffee, I can uh, ask him a few questions in my lunch break. So I started to take my lunch break whenever he was coming to grab his coffee. And uh, he was a creature of habit, you know, that guy, John. Always at the same time, the same drink, the same uh, brownie, the same amount of sugar every single day. Um, so I, I was able to make a schedule based on uh, his schedule and that was pretty good and then I started to become uh, really good friends with him and then he was inviting me he, he was inviting me over to his place 
I was looking at some of uh, his code, he was showing me some ideas, I was showing him what I was doing. Um, but I kept doing my thing, right? I was solving algorithms on Code Wars, I was uh, watching tutorials, I started to buy Udemy courses back then. Um, I think I enrolled in a program called Udacity, I think it's, that's still a thing right now. <coughs> but I was still not making progress, I was still not making apps. And he kept telling me, you have to make apps, you have to make apps. And then one day, somehow I got pissed off after I was invited to an interview with a few recruiters. Uh, they told me that they love my energy, they love the fact that I'm motivated, they love the fact that uh, I'm passionate about programming, but they told me that, hey, you have nothing to show us, so we cannot put you forward for any role. roles. So I got really pissed off that day and something in my brain switched and then I started to build these apps and uh, John was giving me advice and so on and so forth until I managed to finish my first uh, application okay I think it was a movie app you know you, ha you had to search for movies for actors for all this stuff but I had a bunch of routes a bunch of components a bunch of effects a bunch of animations and it was a really complex app and it was re look looking really really good now when I see someone making the movie app, they only have maybe one or two routes, you know, and that's not enough to become a developer. Now, after I finished that application, uh, what happened, uh, I started applying for jobs, maybe 20, 30 jobs per day. I was applying like, uh, like, like when you're on, on Tinder, right? You're swiping left and right when you're on the toilet, whenever you are well, in the bus or whatever you are swiping on tinder right that's what i was doing with jobs whenever i had that time i was applying to jobs i was pretty much desperate and um, recruiters kept calling me and then when they were hearing that they have no experience they were basically telling me off you know uh yeah, yeah we'll call you we'll call you uh and then i would never hear back from them and then this guy calls me and he's asking me do you like fish and I'm like, yeah, I love fish. I just finished eating this tuna. Uh, good, because I have a startup that's working in the fish farming industry. I have this startup that's working for, or, uh, in the fish farming industry and they are looking for a React developer. Are you up for the challenge? And I said, yeah, okay. You have the interview next day or whatever, I don't remember. I said, awesome. Uh, can you send me an email with the address and everything? He sent me the email, he sent me the address. <coughs> he sent me the guy's number the the ceo's number i got there i think the uh the place was called entrepreneur first so it was like a startup incubator i arrived there uh and then i was amazed you know like all these geeks over there you know with their laptops exactly what i wanted to do coding every day uh like a, it was like an open floor uh, space, uh, office type of space, you know. And I was like, "Holy shit, I'm 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 here!" You know, it's it's crazy, it's great, it's amazing. So, my first code test was to convert a React application to React and Redux. And I was like, "Okay, uh, I've done this before. Uh, I've done it with my app." So I'm, I guess I'm gonna do it for this one as well. I think it took me six hours and I was all by myself uh, on my laptop, coding this thing, adding this Redux store. Let me just move myself. <coughs> I was adding this Redux store to this app and uh, it went pretty well. It went pretty well, I'm not gonna lie. So I've made the thing happen. Let me just put this back here. So I've made the thing happen and I, I go home happy, they were happy and they never, I never hear back from them. And I'm like, what the fuck? After all this work, I've made it happen and they are not calling me back. So I started uh, calling the recruiter like multiple times per day. I was uh, messaging the recruiter multiple times per, per day. I was uh, calling the CEO because I had his number, right? I had to call him to get into the building. So I messaged him. I said, hey, I'm going to work for you for free. Uh, just give me this chance, you know, blah, blah, blah. Uh, because I did not care about the money, right? I wanted to get into the industry because I understand. Yeah, I might not get paid for a year. 
and I have to get a, another job to support myself. But I know that after that year, I knew I would be well on my way to making a lot of money and have all the freedom that I wanted. So that was my mindset, okay? Um, with this, I understand that sometimes I need to lose money, let's say, sometimes I have to pay a lot of money to learn something. And in the, in the, in, in the present, it hurts a lot, but I always think long-term, you know, if I spend $5,000 to learn a skill today, then I know that skill is gonna pay me dividends, you know, or even if I fail with this skill right now, I know that this lesson that I've learned from spending that those $5,000 will help me protect myself from not making the same mistake with someone similar, you know? So I always understand that uh, money is buying me time, you know, um, even though I might make a huge mistake. It, it's buying me the time from not making the mistake 20 years from now. I make the mistake now and I have time to fix the mistake. Anyway, so <coughs> what happened in the, in the meantime, pardon, they hired another guy that had like three or four years experience. But he added two, two or three, no, he added one Redux store for each route in the application. And if you know anything about React and Redux, you know that's not how you do it. You should have just one Redux store in your entire application. Otherwise you are defeating the purpose of having a Redux store. So he got fired and they said, okay, come to the office. You're gonna work with us uh, four days a week for, for the first month. And we are gonna pay you six or 700 pounds. And when I was working in the coffee shop, I was making 1,300 pounds. So I was still getting a pay cut, but who cares? I would have worked for free. I would have worked even if I had to pay them. So for me, it did not matter. Anyway, after a month, I did really well. <coughs> they got funding and uh, I got hired. I got hired full time. I got my first contract and um, I started rolling. Problem with that was that uh, I was the only front end developer in the company and I was the lead developer. And that's really bad when you're a junior and you are all by yourself you are gonna make a lot of mistakes and um, I almost lost my job a few times because of the mistakes that I was making. Um, and I was costing the company money, right, to learn from them. And that's why, that's why people are not hiring juniors because they are a risk, you know? And that's why you need to be really good. That's why you need to work with someone like me so I can show you the mistakes that I've done so you don't have to do them. So when you get into the first job, you're gonna be like a, like a, a killer you know like a samurai a ninja you know anyway so i started working with them um after one year i told them hey i want to work remotely so i moved from london to prague i was still working for them and then in prague i started working for a web design agency called artist web and this agency was producing like websites of the day website of the month you know like beautiful amazing websites um when I was starting out, I was dreaming of working for one of these companies and now I finally have the chance. And the thing is, I wasn't getting paid much, uh, especially in Czech Republic. I was actually getting paid peanuts for the amount of work that I was doing. But I met this guy that totally changed my life. Uh, my first real mentor, Dennis. And from this guy, I've learned about code reviews. I've learned about uh, using Git and GitHub. Um, I've learned about uh, structure. I've learned about uh, naming conventions and I passed all these things down. I'm passing all these things down to my students, right? So all the mistakes that I've done, I fix them and I put them in my program and I give them to my students. And uh, I worked for ArtistWeb for three months. Uh, and then when I finished working with ArtistWeb, I finished working with the, my first company as well. I decided to move on. I wanted to make more money. And uh, I got hired for another company in London. I had to move back to London and I've made the, the most money uh, uh, in my career, you know. When I got into WebDev, I said, okay, I'm gonna get uh, this amount of money. This is my goal. And then I got in and I got exactly that money. So it took me one year and a half maybe to get to the, to the goal that I had. And I thought it's gonna take me five or, or 10 years. And for some people it takes five or 10 years, but I took the right um, 
I took my chance with a lot of things. I took a lot of risk and I made it happen. <clears throat> now, after when I got back in London, I wanted to move back to Prague because I hated London. So recruiters kept calling me, like recruiters call me and email me and send me messages on LinkedIn. So I have an abundance of jobs to choose from anytime I want, you know, and this recruiter calls me and I ask them for an outrageous number as my salary. And he says, okay, we can put you in for the interview. The, the job is in Prague. And I was like, okay, perfect. That was already a 20 or 30% increase than what I wished I had when I moved to London, which was great. Uh, and I moved to Prague and my, my taxes will be uh, a quarter of what I was paying in London, the rent would be half of what I would pay in London, and everything was amazing. So I get, uh, I go to Prague for like two days. I go there for an interview. I pass the interview. I'm super relaxed. I'm confident because I know my stuff, uh, and they hire me. After one month, I moved to Prague, uh, and uh, since then I've been working for them. Uh, I got uh, salary increases, and I, I'm doing other things on the side um, and yeah that's my story so far I've never I think I missed a lot of details and uh, a bunch of other things but this is pretty much my story from struggling with tutorials and stuff like that getting my mentors uh, spending money to make mistakes uh, I've learned a lot of things and uh, uh, I'm grateful for what I'm doing right now it's uh, sometimes uh, I forget about how lucky I guess I am to be where I am right now but I know it's possible for pretty much everyone if you have your mind set to it and your heart set to it um, you can do it you know for some might take three months like I had a few students that did that in three months I have some that did it in uh, eight months right for some it might take one year it always it depends on the timing of the year if you are <coughs> applying for jobs during summer it's gonna be way more difficult than if you are applying for jobs in the uh, uh, in spring or in uh, autumn right everyone is in holidays so keep that in mind uh, advice for you make sure that you know how to use git and github properly uh, have prs open prs have your code review by, reviewed by a senior developer uh, make sure that you are following a roadmap, a plan, get feedback as you are improving uh, and don't code by yourself. Code with seniors, don't code with other juniors because you might teach each other the bad stuff, right? All right, that's my rant. I think this is the longest video I have on this channel. Um, if you want to work with me directly, there is a link in the description. If you want to hear more things like this, let me know, uh, leave a like. Uh, if you like this video, leave a comment, uh, helps us, helps me with the algorithm. Uh, and yeah, link in the description. See you.